video. It is Tuesday, but yesterday I spent all day gone. Like I was shopping with my family um, and we had a really nice time. It was a great time, but I wasn't home and so I'm behind. I usually spend Mondays cleaning up the house, getting things ready for the week, ordering groceries, and just kind of prepping everything. And I wasn't home, so I need to do all of that today. And I wanted to say a quick thank you to today's video sponsor, Hoover. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. Um, I will be using one of their products in the video, but I'll talk more about that later. Today's agenda is get all the things done. I need to clean. Um, I'm behind because I was gone all day yesterday and then we didn't really do much Sunday. I've been pretty on top of things lately and you take one day off and that's all it takes. Um, I need to order groceries. I need to put away laundry. I need to vacuum. I need to deep clean the bathrooms, the kitchen. Um, basically just get everything in order but we are making breakfast right now. I just made myself an egg in a basket and I'm probably gonna have some fruit and I just made him an egg. And then you cut this into strips for proper baby led weaning. And then I also made him some oatmeal. This has banana, blueberry, mashed blueberry, and cinnamon. Mmm, okay. yummy. Um, I got this silicone mat on Amazon for his high chair so that he's not like splattering food all over and then we have oh more and I got this splat mat it's a like camel leather it's not real leather it was actually a really good price but it's for when food falls and splatters that way it's not just splattering all over the floor we're dog sitting right now so that's who this one is and that's why the house is extra messy because the dogs are constantly playing, tearing things up, and it's just a mess. We're gonna eat breakfast, make some coffee. Yay, coffee! Say yay, coffee! <laughs> and then I'll probably have to put him down for his first nap before I can like really get into the cleaning. The dishwasher is running, so I guess that's one thing. I need to make my grocery list, so I'll probably do that while I sit down and eat breakfast. <laughs> He's being so funny right now. coffee. I'm going to make a quick to-do list because fun fact, my mom brain is so bad that I forgot my zip code the other day. I'm going to make a quick to-do list. Big boy is playing right next to me and um, yeah, if I don't write down what I need to do, I will not remember and I won't do it. So today... I would love to get all of this done really early so that I can take a walk because it's so fall outside and it's beautiful. So we need to order groceries, put away laundry, clean out the fridge, film sponsored video. Oh, you're gonna knock over my camera, baby. I wanna work out. I have not been so consistent with my workouts the last two weeks. Um, honestly, it's just that time of year where Mentally, things are just harder. I need to clean up. <laughs> yeah, I need to clean up the kitchen mess. I need to. What else? I feel like I need to pay a bill. I have ordered groceries, put away laundry, clean out fridge, film sponsored video, workout, import video footage, and like a whole house tidy, which doesn't take as long as it sounds. And if we can get all of that done, hopefully we can take a really beautiful fall walk because the trees are changing color and this only lasts for such a short season where we live like look at that all the leaves are like colorful and then they just fall off aren't we are we getting sleepy There is a life I lead in 
He is asleep, so I am going to order my groceries, um, get that out of the way. I need to pick out like what meals we're gonna have this week, which I just get in such a rut. I feel, I feel like I've tried every Pinterest recipe that there is to try, and I just get sick of it, and I want to do more vegetarian dishes, and I feel like there's just, it's just not fair. Like, the vegetarian dishes that are on Pinterest are all, like, pasta, and I know that there's more creative ways to eat more vegetables. So, if you have any, like, go-to recipes that you make every week that are full of nutrients or maybe even just, like, a family favorite, leave it down below because I feel like on Pinterest it's always some form of stir-fry, some form of a chipotle bowl, or some form of pasta, and I'm just, like, so tired of it. I know there's more out there, and I need recipes to follow because I just don't have the mental energy to come up with my own um, at the end of the day after doing a whole day of mom in it. So let me know. I'm going to do that, get that checked off my to-do list, and hopefully just keep counting things out while he's napping. He woke up before I even got to order my groceries. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be a long day trying to get things done. That's okay. Definitely not ideal that he just took that short of a nap because I didn't even get to check one thing off of my list before he woke up. But it's okay. And he's still so tired, so... I don't know what we're gonna do, but I did um, order groceries, so I'm gonna check that off. I use the Notes app on my phone and just do like little circles and fill them in with check marks. Now I'm going to tidy up the living room um, because I have, we went shopping yesterday so I have a bunch of stuff that we bought that I need to put away and oh man. Are you comfy up there? Hi Belle. Hi baby. What are you doing? I feel like this is the most accurate depiction of mom life today it's 11 37 he woke up from that first nap at like i don't know 10 30 and was up for a half hour and then i just noticed he was just so tired and i tried to get him back to sleep but then i was like maybe i'll just lay with him and he's been asleep for 30 extra minutes so <sighs> i've spent the last hour of my life doing that hour and a half um but just listen to your baby's cues, I guess. Um, I would have loved to have had a lot more done by now. Still haven't even cleaned up the kitchen, so I'm gonna do that and then, ugh, I just need to get my head on my shoulders. who likes the jokes that like everybody makes about being a mom like oh my kids are so exhausting and I'm just so tired and I need wine and blah 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 I get really annoyed of those because it's like we get it but let's not constantly make our kids feel like a burden you know what I mean but it is a real thing coffee <laughs> it is a real thing I feel like if you are a mom and you don't drink coffee you're probably drinking energy drinks right like they can't just not have anything all this to say I'm making coffee number two now and we're up from our nap we're restarting the day at 12 20 because that is just how the day is going and that's okay so I'm gonna make some coffee 
and drink it while I finally actually clean up the living room. Okay, we are slowly but surely checking things off. We ordered groceries, I cleaned the kitchen, I'm gonna fill up my diffuser, and made coffee number two. This is just an Americano with a splash of half and half and a tablespoon of brown sugar. Not even trying to be cheesy, but I really don't think there's anything much better than like a sunny room, but also a clean, freshly vacuumed room. Right, B? And now to the sponsored section of this video. I wanted to say thank you to Hoover for sponsoring me today. Um, you guys know I've been trying to have a solid cleaning routine lately. Somebody had to join us. I have been in such a routine with cleaning lately and part of that includes vacuuming I swear like three times a day just with a dog and a baby and two people living here it's constantly getting messy and we don't have carpet we have a lot of hardwood and then one rug so I feel like things stick to our feet but Hoover was kind enough to send me their one power cordless evolve pet vacuum and that is what I used today you guys saw Sorry, I'm reading my baby a book at the same time because hashtag stay at home working mom things. What I love about it is it is crazy lightweight and easy to lug around. I find it like 10 times easier to vacuum with a cordless vacuum just because the simple aspect of not needing to lug it out, unravel the cord, plug it in, ravel the cord back up and put it away makes the choice to vacuum so much easier so i can just whip this out use it and put it away for easy storage it's nice and small fits in my hall closet very easily and it has a rechargeable battery it tells you when it's low on battery or fully charged also love that it has three settings so on the very top here you have carpet hard floor and you can turn the brush off i use the carpet setting on our rug obviously and it does a really great job you guys i'll put a clip in here of me emptying the filter basket um so it really picks up everything and i also think personally it's definitely a quieter vacuum which is a plus because this boy gets a little bit scared of loud noises sometimes like my coffee grinder upsets him sometimes so it's really really nice that this isn't going to startle him every single time that i turn it on and it's super easy to empty the filter basket. You just click it off. There's a button at the bottom to open it and everything falls right out. Very easy to clean. I like that it's nice and sleek, easy to store. It's very easy to use and it's lightweight. Um, it just makes, over, overall, it just makes cleaning a lot easier for me, which I need it to be easy and simple and quick because I don't have time to spend on little tasks like vacuuming and I also, need it to work well this works great and i'm honestly very surprised it's a very nice price as well we have already used and loved on this little vacuum several times and i know it's going to be a staple in my cleaning routine in the future and i'm just thankful to have it if you guys are interested in checking out any of hoover's products they have everything from carpet cleaners to vacuums cordless plug-in and they are great if you guys are interested in shopping any of their products just like this one i have um i will leave a link in the description box for you guys to check out all of their products and again thank you hoover for helping us keep our house clean and keeping our rug clean for this boy to crawl around and play on thank you for sponsoring today's video and now on to more cleaning and more Monday-ish things, huh? Um, I'm gonna restock our diaper basket. This is a really huge hack if you take care of kids. Um, we keep a cute little basket like this out in our common areas, like the living room, or um, we used to keep one in our bedroom. And I just put diapers and wipes in here. That way, if he does need a quick diaper change and we're not going back to his room to do it, there's diapers out here, or I can grab this and restock the diaper bag if we're trying to rush out the door, but it's just nice to have these out and available 
for anybody, especially when people come to watch him. Except it's not an eyesore because it's in a cute little basket, right? So I just keep that on our entertainment center. And then this bin has burp cloths, um, nail clippers, booger suckers, all of like the self-care type things, a couple extra pacifier clips. We just keep those out here because sometimes you're rushing out the door and you're looking for these things last second. And it's just nice to be able to grab it and go. Actually perfect timing. My Melaleuca box just came in. Um, I've talked about it a few times on my channel. It's just like a monthly subscription that I pay for, for non-toxic home and cleaning products. And I love it. I don't actually know quite what I ordered this month because I was out of a lot of products. So this is a lot of restocking. It's definitely a larger order than what I usually do. Um, uh, some bath bombs. These are in my favorite scent of oil blend. So it's essential oil bath bomb, but it has the peace blend, which is uh, tangerine, orange, ylang lang lang patchouli, and blue tansy. And I did restock on some essential oil. Um, a headache roller. I like to have two of these around the house. I like to have these in our diaper bag, in my purse, at the house. Some hand sanitizers. These are my favorite and I needed to restock the diaper bag and my purse. My favorite toilet bowl cleaner. Very exciting stuff, you guys. I know. I know. It's the best. Um, that's like the first toilet bowl cleaner that doesn't make me cough and gag every time that I use it. So, had to re-up on that. I don't know what oil this is. Refresh. This one has lemongrass, black spruce, lime, lemon, scotch pine, citronella, and tea tree. Some immune vitamins. I had to re-up on my mascara. A hand soap refill. I buy this big jug and then I just refill the dispensers around the house. So it changes month to month, usually laundry soap, dish soap, things like that. But I gotta make lunch for myself and the baby. So we're gonna do that. We are doing some quesadilla strips for lunch. These are leftover that I made and then he has this leftover blueberry pancake. I'm not sure if he'll have that but we got our splat mat all set up. We're ready to make a mess of the high chair again, aren't we? Mmm, yeah. I'm gonna open these up and smell them, and look how massive these are. I was not, I was expecting like a bunch of tiny ones, but these are huge and they smell so good. I feel like this is a great excuse for me to take a bath tonight and relax. My groceries just got here, so I'm gonna go grab those and clean out the fridge and check that off of my list. I think I'm just gonna make myself a black bean quesadilla because it sounds easy and it's healthy-ish. So I have some corn tortillas, some black beans, I'll add a little bit of veggies in there. So I usually Instacart from Kroger, but this week I tried Aldi because we love Aldi. Um, and I need to tip the driver or the delivery person more because they did such a good job bagging everything. I love when they do it in paper bags because it's less wasteful and then like everything cold was in these nice freezer bags and I just thought that that was super nice. They did a really great job. This other YouTuber post um, a video making this dinner as I was ordering my groceries so I'm gonna make this. Um, Basically, she did crock pot, yeah. chicken and dumpling. Oh, yes. Yeah, and maybe you can have some of it. Do you think you can try some of it later? So I think I'm gonna put that in. And basically she chopped up the biscuits into like quarter size pieces and then baked them and then you add everything into the crock pot. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I just got a text that Austin's on his way home from work. So definitely didn't get as much done today as I wanted before he got home, but that's okay. That's kind of motherhood and my life. Much of it is just winging it.
Oh, Smacky! Oh, no! Smacky, 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 smacky,
I just finished cooking dinner, or the crock pot just finished. It's chicken and dumplings. It's super yummy. So we're gonna serve that up and hopefully eat together and relax a little bit, huh? Sipping on my uh, kombucha. It's just ginger kavita kombucha. Sin is giving baby his bath before bedtime and I must be clean up this messy kitchen. video. Sorry my monitor is blaringly loud but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and sorry I thought my baby was waking up but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and thank you again Hooper for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out their products at the link in the description box and make sure you go out of your way today to love on someone and make them feel extra special just because they are and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.